Let's start working on the routing for our application. Under app, we'll create a new file called app.routing.ts. Now we're going to import router module from Angular router. We're going to export constant routes, and this is going to be the array that's going to define our routes for us. And then once we define our routes, we can export constant routing, which is equal to router module dot for root, and we're passing in the routes that we just created. Now, as with all things Angular, we really want to use TypeScript to its full potential. We'll use some type hinting here. We're going to grab from the Angular core module with providers. And then here we'll also grab routes. The constant routes is supposed to be a routes, and this will be module with providers. This type hint here is really beneficial to us because it will always tell us if we have a route that isn't configured correctly. We'll create the home page path. And the home page won't do anything for our application. Let's just have it redirect to the user section. Now this will be our user section. We'll have path, users, component is users component that we just created. And then we'll also give this some children. And that will be an array. The first will be path blank, and that will be the component user list component and right now this is all wishful coding because we don't have this user list component and we're not going to have any of these children created yet we're going to go ahead and comment all this out once we're done and then we'll work the read section and then uncomment as we go I really like building out the entire routing file from the beginning because we know how our application is going to look and it kind of gives us an outline of how to move through our application as we build it. Let's create a new route for the creation of a user. We'll do path is create. And notice these are children, so the path for this is going to be users slash create. Right now this one's blank, so it'll be users slash blank, which is just the user's path. Component is user create component. We'll have a path for visualizing and seeing a user, and that will be that user single folder we just created. So let's create path. And this will be with their ID, is their URL, component, user single component. And the last one is ID slash edit. Now you might be asking, why don't we have a route for deleting a user? And that's not really done in the routing. That will be handled in the user single component where we use a method on that class to delete the user. This is everything we need for our application. All of these children are not created yet. So we'll comment that out, delete this comma here, and we'll need users component. Oh, and this full is actually a string. We'll bring in users component from users, users.component, and that is users component. We've just created all of the routing for our application. We actually need to bring in this router module into our app module. Up here, let's bring in app.routing, and that is routing. And that is going to go into the import since it's actually a module. Let's give that a try in our app now. We're getting an error here. No base href is set, and that makes sense because this is one of the required steps for routing. We'll go into index.html. At the very top here, we'll do base href. And let's give that a comment just to be sure. Required for Angular routing. That should do the trick. 
cannot find primary outlet to load user's component, and the second step that is required for Angular routing, one is base href, and two, if we go into app component ts, let's delete this my users component. We're not using the selector anymore, we're using the routing. And right down here, what's required, the second part for the router is router outlet. This is so that the router knows where to put things. Now our app lives, we see this list of users, and finally, our routing. Notice that if we go to the home page, we should get redirected to that users, and we do. That's going to be the basis for the routing of our app. And that gives us a good guideline of how to move through what we're going to build. We'll start with the user list, user create, user single, and user edit.